This video shows you how to enter refrigerant line sizing data in the HVAC Tools program. Click the Project menu. Click Refrigerant Line Sizing. Enter Example for the name of this case. Notice that the Errors box lists several errors for this case. These errors will go away as we enter values, so we can ignore them for now. Our refrigerant type will be R22, so we can leave this input as is. Our pipe material will be copper, so we can leave this input as is as well. The next three inputs are for when the unit is operating at its full capacity. Our system capacity is 5 tons. For the saturated suction temperature, we can either type in a value or select one from the list. Let's select the typical value for R22 in air conditioning usage, which is 40 degrees. The saturated condensing temperature is typically 20 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit above the outdoor temperature. Enter 120 degrees. The next six inputs are for when the unit is operating at its minimum capacity. The minimum capacity rating is 2 tons. The saturated suction temperature at minimum capacity is 20 degrees, so type that in. The suction superheat temperature at minimum capacity is 10 degrees. The saturated condensing temperature at minimum capacity is typically 20 to 30 degrees above the outdoor air temperature. Enter 90 degrees. The discharge gas temperature at minimum capacity is 120 degrees. The liquid temperature at minimum capacity is typically 50 to 140 degrees. Enter 90 degrees. The inputs on the right hand side of this window have to do with the suction, discharge, and liquid lines. Enter 26 feet for the suction line length. Enter 32 feet for the discharge line length. For the liquid line length, enter 12 feet. For each of the design pressure drop inputs, enter 2 degrees. The calculations will size the line so that the actual drop is below that value. We can skip the additional loss and additional feet of loss inputs for this example. Enter 3 feet for the suction line riser length. Enter 13 feet for the discharge line riser length. The liquid line riser length can remain at zero. Under fittings, we need to enter the number of 90 degree long radius elbows in each line. Enter 6 long radius elbows for suction, 5 for discharge, and 2 for liquid. Now that we've entered everything, there are no errors reported. And we can see that the sizing results boxes have been filled in with calculated values. For example, for the horizontal lines, the suction line is 1 and 1 8 inches, the discharge line is 7 8 of an inch, and the liquid line is 3 8 of an inch. Thanks for watching.